Hello everyone, my name is Jim, I program Synatic Void. Tonight, we have the distinct privilege, and I do mean privilege, thanks to La La Land Records and Creature Features, we're doing the West Coast premiere cast and crew first screening of King Cohen! And because this is a very, very extra classy event for tonight, we got Cue the Winged Serpent and the Stuff, both on 35mm out of the Academy. Yeah, we're not used to doing classy things at Cinematic Void. Usually, I mean, just last week we had a pie eating contest, so this is definitely a step up for us. But, without further ado, I want to bring someone up to talk about tonight's premiere. He is the director of King Cohen, he is the writer of Chopping Ball, he's also a fan of the Beach Girls like I am, Mr. Steve Mitchell! Thank you for all being here tonight. It's nice to have so many familiar faces in this theater. And uh, you know, everybody was asking me earlier, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Figuring I was freaking out and nervous, and I'm actually a little nervous now. I wasn't nervous before, but thank you all for being here. And because it's a cast and crew screening, I gotta say some thank yous. Get them out of the way. All right, my crew: Dave Chan, one of my, my cinematographer; Joe Kramer, my composer. Great work, guys. Patrick Girardi, who did our sound mix. Couldn't have done it without him. Folks who appeared in the movie who are here tonight, Joe Dante, Mick Garris, Lorreen Landon, the great FX team, Fred Keller, David Kern, Paul Curta. I don't know if Paul is here or not. Uh, Dan Furl, David Scout. I don't know if David made it either. Uh, Richard Brewer, Janelle Webb, the great Cynthia Costas Cohen, and of course, the king himself, Larry Cohen. But I gotta say thanks to my partners. Uh, Matt Burboy, Stan McKeon, I wouldn't be standing here without you. I love you guys. M.V. Gerhard, John Dadless, Paul Armbruster, all big, big part of this. Fred Keller, Olga McQueen, Anthony Miles, Sean Hughes, David Fine, James Davis, Cardinalis, and Taylor White. But the guy who couldn't be here, I want to give a big shout out to is my editor, uh, Kai Thomasian, who literally held my hand, uh, got me down off the, uh, the ledge sometimes when I didn't know quite where we were going. You know, it's great to have an editor, and he was invaluable, and I wish he was here tonight. He's got the flu. But anyway, I've done all my work, but I gotta introduce the king, Mr. Larry Cohen. Come on up, Larry, and say hello to the The one, the only. Where the heck is he? Oh, there he is. He came from nowhere and said he wanted to make a movie about me. And who am I to stop somebody from making a movie? It turned out to be a tremendous smear job. <laughs> An attack from frame number one. First Harvey and now me. <laughs> I'm telling you, what's going on in this town is a disgrace. But, you know, he... He made the picture, and there's nothing I can do about it now. <laughs> I, I foolishly signed a release somewhere along the way. Actually, I signed somebody else's name. I signed Brian De Palma, if you look. <laughs> but anyway, here I am. And uh, uh, he had a whole list. I was going to read something, too, if you don't mind. Uh, uh. It's like the Oscars, but longer. <laughs> I'm on now. Uh, <laughs> this is a little email that just came in earlier tonight. It says, Millennia and I wish we could be with you tonight. <laughs> but we have been advised not to leave the bomb shelter. <laughs> so, 
I want to thank Steve Mitchell, the director, <laughs> Matt Burboys, Paul Amberster, <laughs> and Dan Akeen, who are all producers, who are also equally guilty, and we'll be hearing from my attorneys very soon. <laughs> It was in the deal that I have to show up tonight to see the picture. And, but fortunately, I don't have to stay for Q and the stuff. <laughs> this will put you out of the theater at 4.15 in the morning, and I will be here to take you all to breakfast. <laughs> no, no, thank you, back. Coffee. As a matter of fact, nothing, because I'm going home after Q. But, I hope you enjoyed the film. It was a humiliating experience. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we love you. Yeah, you love me, yes. My wife loves me too. My wife Cynthia is out there. She told me to be nice tonight, but I couldn't resist telling, <laughs> telling the truth. This, this is what's called a roast, usually. And, uh, and roast Cohen. So anyway, I guess nothing to do but let's just see the movie. So, and then afterwards, I'm going to come back. And <laughs> I am, I'm going to come back and find out what you really thought of it, you know? <laughs> Anybody there still like me? What do you say? <laughs> right? okay. Okay, so here, here it is in Technicolor and everything. It's sound, has every, everything. We, we have all the basics. Yeah. It doesn't quite cut together properly, but you know. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little trim here and there. But I, I wasn't allowed to have any input into the making of this film. This was all done completely behind my back. And they took me up to, to Canada, to Montreal, and publicly humiliated me and won the best documentary award. <laughs> This is what can happen to you when you make 46 features. And, uh, you know, and you notice they had the trailers for so many of my films, but there was a couple, there was a couple that I didn't make that were up there. They had the, the ones that really looked bad, they, those weren't mine. Those were mine. But, but I I'd like to have that trailer real for myself because most of those trailers I never saw before because I never go to see my own movies, as you know. You know, like a lot, like Woody Allen says, he never sees a movie that he made after he makes it the first time. That's it. And I, I, I have a different thing. Uh, I make a picture and nobody else goes to see it. <laughs> it's cl close, but not exactly. Go watch the movie. I had enough. Thank you for coming. That was better than the movie.